Hello everyone, this is LW Gaming and welcome back for another video of Languister. And today we're going to be showcasing a, uh, uh, like one of the two new characters in the game. And this is Captain and Baby, known as in CN, Captain Commando and Babyhead. Well, actually I should say uh, as their full name. So anyways, uh, this this is the unique character, that's kind of like GNL, but in the mix of a crossover, of course. So let's uh, take a look what they, what they have when it comes to the class. So initially, you begin as a gamer boy, and this is what it looks like initially. You might be thinking, huh, isn't this just a player? Well, Riss, you're right. It is just a player's uh, mini sprite. This is basically them like choosing choosing a fighter before they become Babyhead or Captain Commando, or any fighters in general. And you have two class class paths. You can go for Babyhead route, like of course you'll, you'll upgrade to this character. And then later it will become Babyhead. But if you choose the other route, like Captain Commando, like you'll get Captain first, and then Captain Commando. So yeah, the classes are based around the fighter, which is pretty nice. Like pr pretty interesting here. They go with those uh, with those class routes, huh? And and also, I, I initially I thought this character is like you know underwhelming. Well, it is for like in certain aspects of the game, but the thing is, their their kit is actually really interesting because they can perform uh somewhat like two actions as long as the uh, they have like three stacks of the uh, passion of full battle. That's the that's a unique buff that they have, and th these ones will expire after two turns. So make sure you use it wisely, because the more you battle out there the more uh, they'll, they'll fight. And this is the gear set I'm running for them currently, although I, I don't think I ever use them much because, you know, these guys, they're not really interesting for me, unfortunately, but I am a collector after all, so I had to collect them. And speaking of which, uh, let's take out their skills. So they have uh, 9 skills as usual, but the ninth one won't be available until I uh, unlock the 3C, which will be, uh, which will be available shortly. Anyways, I'm going to take that one away for this one here. So anyways, uh, they have the unique skill called Comeback Technique. This is the one interesting skill that does single target attack, but this is not really an in-game, it is not really an in-combat kind of thing. This is like an AoE kind of thing. So depending on how many of those uh, Passion for Battle stacks you have, if you have at least one, you, well, actually, no matter what, you, you will, you'll do one attack. But if you have multiple of this, you will perform additional hits. So for example, if you have three stacks of these already, you will you will technically perform a three hit combo, which is pretty nice. And they also come with Roar, the common skill that you can bring if you feel like going all in. There's, they also come with Captain Cannon, which is the flamethrower, that uh, which enables you to teleport to a certain location and then and then fire at them. But if you're able to hit two enemies with this, uh, you sh you should be able to act, uh, like get one of those uh, passion for battle stacks. But if you end up having three stacks while using the skill, you will be able to act again out of that, thanks to the talent. The backbreaker is really nice to have. Like you will attack enemy head on one one on one as usual, and after attacking, you will send them backwards. Kind of similar to their unique skill, which I'm going to talk about later. Uh, the passive attack intimidate. This is really helpful to lower your enemy's uh, uh, offensive stats. And rolling punching, r rolling punch is basically the same as the back, the the, the backbreaker. But this one is uh, is actually in unique. Unlike going in single target combat, you will do AOE and then send them behind you. Yeah, something like that. And then there's iron wall that they have. But if but since the character is like um does die easily. Uh, they come with this skill, Unflinching, which will get, get them a revive. This is the same revive skill for from like other characters like Landius. And uh, Sage of the Trees, Polly, Emperor Lovina, you name it. This is the fifth character to have this, surprisingly. So anyways, uh, th this is the stats at 3 stars. Of course, at 6 stars, they'll, they'll work better. And this is the equipment set. I think I already showed this already. But anyways, this is the set I will be running for during the awakening stages. So yeah, it, it, you you could interchange the the helmet for like Fury of Tear if you have them. I, the reason I chose this helmet is because I don't have any more. 
a favorite tier for me to use. I could grab Gens if I want to, but I do not want to steal from him. It just uh, doesn't seem right to me. Unless it's temporarily, but... Uh, actually, speaking of which, I might do that right now. Let's see, if favorite tier is still on Gen, let's see, is it still on Gen? Uh, it doesn't seem like he has it anymore. He has a different head headwear. Never mind then. Uh, I could grab it from Andy if I want to, but that that could mess me up. So I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, uh, let, let's go to the waking stage, and let's proceed the levels here. Alright, so let's see what soldiers do we have here. So I forgot to talk about the soldiers. So they come with these units here. Um, Mechanical Dragon Knights, Griffin Knights, Griffin Rider, uh, Fang Guards, Berserker, Warrior, Guardian Infantry, Elite Infantry, yeah, all that stuff. Aegis Guard, Heaven Centurion, Phalanx, and also Elite Lancer. So for this fight, uh, let's see what we're dealing with here. So there are, there's, there's an infantry soldier there. So the opponent we are fighting against here are Live Genesis, uh, Captain Mac. I'm not talking about Mac the Knife. Note that they're, these two are different. <laughs> kind of funny they kept the same name for this one. And we of course have Bozo on the end. So let's see what hers do. So we're going to need to figure out a way to get to her. Because as a, on the first turn, she, if you're not in her range, she's just going to run away. Instead of giving you a chance to uh, attack, you know? I could have brought the flamethrower skill, but I think this is fine. Anyways, I'm just going to stand here. going to do that and I'm going to uh, move a bit closer like right here okay now she is going to uh, have a extra range on the attack but that won't matter because we're going to attack her head on oh she, she, she survived that Okay, so let, let's think about this. Uh, he has he has one stacks of this already. So let's um, let's just go ahead and attack this quick. Yeah, we'll be in range already, which is fine. Anyways, I'm not I, I'm not gonna die that easily. So we're we're good. And for this one, we're going to do the the combo here, like right here. And the activation activated. Thanks to the talent. Yep, we have three stacks again. So we're going to go in again. Punch. Yep, and dead. Remember to bring this uh, unique skill because this is super helpful to avoid fighting in the single target combat. Anyways, I'll be right back. I got to see what's going on. I heard something. Okay, that was sudden. Anyways, I'm back now. Okay, let's continue. And let's look at their animation and see what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, looks alright. <laughs> Not expecting them to go fancy here, you know. Crossover characters don't usually get the fancy treatment, such as like different kind of design on their animation. Yeah, they had the 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 typical one. This has been the case for you know, all the all the crossovers Calabi has so far. They never changed their stance or whatever. Okay, we're gonna try stage two now. Uh, this is the skill I'll be using here, but I am gonna change this one out. For this, 
to ensure that he does not die quite easily. There we go. I think that's the one I'll be working with. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna jump like that, so I'm gonna... Move, move right here. Route marker right there. I'm gonna be moving a bit away. Just gonna move back a bit. I think here we'll do it. Yeah, he's not gonna jump. Okay, that's good to know. But I will though. Right, now we can run in there. But first, let me take care of the the enemies. Oh wait, I, I had to run right here. Yep, take care, care of Mac. Oh, I just destroyed one, my own uh, portal. Whoops. Uh, okay, that 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 is a uh, not ideal portal, but. Whatever. I can place it back later. I I got. It. Uh, let's see. I think I'll, I'll go after Captain and Baby. Yep, take care of them. Don't want them to cause problems for us. And then place that route marker back. There we go. And now I can reach Owen here. Yep, there we go. That wipes that wipes it out. Oh, he almost died there. Okay, I'm gonna be using this skill here to avoid di combat. Do some damage. And then run here. Attack. And there we go. After you did all that, you can unlock their 3C. Which I'll showcase it um, shortly, of course. Okay, it's called Knee Rocket and Captain Corridor. So let's swap that one out for... Okay, swap this one out, actually. Get this one here, and then get this here. There we go. Anyways, I'll be right back. Okay, I am in, in battle right now, and I'm going to showcase what this skill does, which is actually pretty short and simple. All you gotta do is, of course, run to your target. And then do this. Watch this, this is, this is really, really cool. Let me turn this animation on, even though this is not really animated based because this is AoE attack. Let's do, let's do it right here. This will also hit the enemies around the target as well. And also, when they got shocked, there there will be like a like if they ever use a skill on you, they're gonna get shocked anyways. So we're going to move move uh, move back. We don't need to engage the range just yet. Just going to use 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 them real quick. I send you. Mugen no kami to H o tsunag. And I'm going to uh, no need to chain them, so I'm just going to sit here. Watashi no kotoba wa kinki no kotowari. 
私にも母としての覚悟があります。I think I could, like, uh, you know, get that guy, uh, the, the passive for Tiana really quick. And I'm gonna move back so I don't go in the range. Yep. Just stay out of range for now. Well, the reason why they couldn't get shocked is because they didn't use a skill. Kinda wish they do that, but uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's because these this is not even an active skill, so. This is probably not the good stage to practice on, so I am I'm gonna I'm gonna be back. I'm going to try a different stage. Okay, I am back. This time I'm on a different stage. I'm pretty sure these guys have have like active skills. No, they're all passives. Oh, but this guy has active, so we can kind of see what what he will do after we do our action here. I'm gonna teleport him closer so we can fully utilize his uh, 3C. And I'm, uh, we're gonna pull that one back later. But now I'm going. I'm gonna do this right here. 3C right here. Just gonna get, give him a hand. Uh, sadly, I won't reach there, so I think I can easily do that by, of course, pulling you down. Then I can just uh, go right here. Like right there, you see that when before they activate the skill, it'll, it'll shock them and make them take fixed damage. Anyways, I think that's enough showcasing here. I'll just uh, cut cut through the video real quick. So yeah, that was Captain Ma Captain uh, Commando and Babyhead uh, showcase when it comes to the w how this RC works. So anyways, hope you all find this video helpful. Even though there's a bit of a mix up on the in the recording when it comes to two, the second stage, it could be complex sometimes. But anyways, I'm gonna edit it out whenever I could. Anyways, see y'all next time.